hello guys welcome to being engineers in this video i will show you how to get started with raspberry pi and how to do your first project that is the led bleak project because we know that hello world is a program which we do in every language whenever we learn a new language we do the hello world program in it but in case of input output interfaces led blink is the hello world program for it so we'll do the led blinking program and we will get started with the raspberry pi so before starting i will be telling some details about this project so i will be using the raspberry pi 3 the operating system i will be using that is the raspbian os all the os installation and the monitoring system tutorial will be given beforehand so you can get look at those in the raspberry pi playlist in our youtube videos I will be giving that link in the description box below so if you are new in Raspberry Pi don't have installed the OS in the SD card go back to those videos and instructables I will be giving the links in the description box below so let's begin so this is my Raspberry Pi 3 and first of all I will be inserting the HDMI cable to monitor the system Then there will be the mouse I will be inserting USB mouse and then the USB keyboard I will be attaching with the Raspberry Pi 3. At last I will be connecting the power cable with the Raspberry Pi 3 that is the micro USB cable and I will be attaching that micro USB cable with the power bank I have. So you can see the LEDs light up in the Raspberry Pi so that the Raspberry Pi is on for now. Now I will be connecting the wires required so I will be lighting up a uh, LED so two wires are needed at most so the two wires the two jumpers wire will be connected in the pin 3 and pin 9 respectively the pin 3 will be the digital output that will be high or low according to our program and the pin 9 is the ground of a raspberry pi so the concept is such like that we will be connecting the ground to the negative terminal of a LED and we will connect the pin 3 that is the GPIO pin to the positive terminal of LED with a 100 ohm register series in it to limit the current. The 100 ohm register will, will be used as a current limiting register because the Raspberry Pi can give a much higher current so the LED will be burnt if you don't use a current limiting register with it. So the 100 ohm register will be connected in series with the, with the pin 3 and the ground will be connected to the negative terminal of the LED. So these are the main things that you have to notice in this part so, and this is the arrangement you can see here. I have connected all the things in the breadboard. Now power up your Raspberry Pi. If you have the latest version of OS, in my case that is the Raspbian, then the Python, ideally the Python editor will be installed, will be pre-installed actually. So you don't have to install it manually. Go to menu, then programming and then click on python3 ideally. This is the python editor we will be using. Create a new file. Now we will write our program here. First of all we will import the header files for the GPIO pins and the timer so type in the comment as it is shown in the video now we have imported both the libraries now we have to assign the pin number and the format of the GPIO pin that we will be using so this is the command we will be using to assign the mode of the pins now we will tell the raspberry pi to use the pin 3 as the led blink pin and it will be using as a output pin So the basic setup is done now we have to run a loop so that the on and off or the blinking happens in for infinite time so we will be 
calling a uh, integer counter with the name of counter that will be ranging from 0 to 100 that means the counter value will be 0 at first and after each iteration the counter value will be increased by 1 up till the value is 100 and in this loop actually we will be putting the pin 3 high then no wait for 1 second then put then we will put the pin 3 low and again wait for 1 second and this loop will be iterated 100 times here you can see the time dot sleep 1 this 1 is in second so we will be stopping the program execution for 1 second and then we will be putting a low signal in the pin 3 then we will again the execution of the program for 1 second and thus the loop continues and at last we will be calling the pin 3 low to off the LED here true means 1 in digital that means 5 volt and, and false means grounded or 0 volt so we have to save this program but i have done some mistake here so i have forgot i forgot to put the pin number in the loop so type in 3 comma 2 and the 3 comma false that i have forgotten in the program so let's rectify that now now press f5 to run and there you can see the led is blinking the LED is high or on for one second and off for another second. That's how the LED is working with the logic. That means the pin 3 is getting high and the program execution is stopped for one second. During that one second, the LED is on and the next part, the, the pin 3 is low and then the program execution at that period of time, the LED is off. So that's how the LED is blinking and this process will go on for 100 times and then the LED will be off permanently so this is the delay for one second now you can see i have decreased the delay that i have decreased the delay for 0 0.1 second and the led is flashing very rapidly that is 1 by 10 second and now i will be putting the delay lesser than this that is 0 0.05 second that is 1 by 20th of second so you can see the led is blinking very rapidly that you can even can't notice it so this is the LED blinking program that I was supposed to tell you how to do it, how to get started. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to follow us in Facebook and Twitter. Hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye.